Hello everyone, my name is Sahil and I welcome you all at Earn Academy. So guys, in the today's video, we are going to see that how recently India has scored a diplomatic victory at United Nations Security Council and how India has given a kind of a diplomatic defeat to China. Moreover, in this video, we are also going to assess how India had played an instrumental and a leadership role recently in United Nations Security Council when India was serving as a non-permanent member there. Now this topic is or this video is going to be very important for GS paper number 2, India's role in international bodies. First of all, let's understand the present context that has been there. So recently, United Nations, recently what has happened, United Nations Security Council has placed the terrorist tag, has placed the tag of international terrorist on Abdul Rahman Maki, who has been associated with Lashkare Taiba. Now, what has happened within the United Nations Security Council, there is 1267 sanction committee and under this 1267 sanction committee, the sanctions can be imposed on international terrorist or terrorist of concern or terrorist outfits. So, let's understand this issue in little bit more detail first of all. So, guys, what has happened? Recently, India was chosen as a non-permanent member in United Nations Security Council for 2021-2022. Though recently India's non-permanent membership has been over, but when India was the non-permanent member, then India along with the USA proposed that Abdul Rahman Maki, who is the deputy chief of lashkar e taiba should be placed in 1267 committee's list. The list which contains the terrorists who are affiliated to Al-Qaeda and ISIS. India and USA has proposed other names also that should be placed in this list. But what has happened, China had played a dirty game just to appease Pakistan and China placed a technical hold on this particular process. But now the technical hold has been listed, have, have been removed and Abdul Rahman Maki has been declared as the terrorist under 1267 committee. Now, first of all, let's see the role of Abdul, uh, let's see the role of Abdul Rahman Makki in certain terrorist attacks. So, he was involved in Red Fort attack of 2000 and also was involved in the planning of Mumbai terror attacks of 2008. And because of this particular reason, India and USA proposed his name to be listed in 1267 committee. Now, first of all, what is the implication of this particular, uh, this particular listing? Now, the terrorist or terrorist outfits whose name are placed under 1267 committee, on them, there will be the asset freeze that will be imposed, then travel ban will be imposed and arms embargo will also be imposed. Now, as we talk about this 1267 committee, it was set up in 1999 and it comprises all the permanent and non-permanent members of United Nations Security Council. So, when India was non-permanent member for 21-2022, then in the capacity of non-permanent member, India raised this particular matter in United Nations Security Council. Now, you need to understand some more issues in this particular respect. First of all, it allows any UN member, it allows any UN member that they can propose a terrorist name to be added in this 1267 committee. It particularly uh, here, 1267 committee deals with those terrorists who are associated with Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Now, final decision will be taken on the basis of consensus. Now, as in UNSC, per China is holding the P5 seat, he, China is a permanent member, China plays the technical hold. So, therefore, this particular matter was not able to be passed at that point of time. Okay. Now, before moving guys, I would like to tell you briefly about Earn Academy, UPSC, CSC, GS courses. So, you can, why you should enroll in an Academy? Because here you get the widest choice of educators, flexibility to change your course as per your speed, as per your comfort level, unlimited views on lectures, dedicated doubt solving sessions, printed comprehensive notes, End-to-end -end preparation, all the stages of the exam prelims mains will be taken care of by an academy, live mentorship session, daily answer writing practice sessions and you can enroll in an academy plus as well as iconic courses. You can use the code SAHIL29 to get a flat 10% discount and an academy offers you the subscriptions fine for 36 months, 24 months, 18 months, 12 months, you can learn at your own pace. 
एंड नाउ अन अकेडमी हैज ऑल्सो कम विद यू पी एस सी आइकॉनिक वीक ऑफर वेयर इफ यू एनरोल इन एटीन मंथ कोर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू गेट अ टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट ऑन दैट बाई यूजिंग द कोर्स आई ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड देन यू ऑल्सो गेट द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री ऑप्शनल सब्सक्रिप्शन एब्सोल्यूटली फ्री तो इट लीड्स टू ह्यूज सेविंग्स इफ यू एनरोल इन द कोर्स नाउ एंड नाउ अन अकेडमी हैज ऑल्सो कम विद एक्सपीडिशन बैच so in this expedition the this expedition batch is going to start from today that is january that is uh, it is going to be start from january 19 where you get an opportunity to get educated from the india's top educators fine or all these courses are also available at 0% emi option because at an academy we believe that paying capacity should not be a constraint for effective and good learning you can give a call at this number and my team will be connected with you and they'll guide you with bare minimum formalities now going forward in this particular dimension now guys when we talk about these technical holds that the china recently placed on abdul makki such holds china has imposed earlier also since 2001 china has placed such technical holds at multiple occasions why because these terrorists directly gets patronage from pakistan and in order to appease pakistan or pakistan based terror groups china has done this particular thing we also see this thing that on jaish e mohammed founder masood azhar such kind of holds were or such technical holds were proposed on his name also by the china fine this is something that has happened and basically guys by supporting each other on terrorism china and pakistan are creating their unholy nexus this is something that we have seen now guys when we talk about the azhar fine he was released from prison in 1999 because of the hijacking incident that was done on flight number IC814 so after hijacking the plane his release was demanded and such dreaded terrorist name was put on technical hold now as guys i have told you that recently india has been a non permanent member of unsc there are some very good initiatives that india had taken to curb the terrorism to uproot terrorism from its root those also we need to see here so basically first of all guys as we talk about the india india had recently hosted the counter terrorism committee while india was the non permanent member in unsc what is this counter terrorism committee this committee was constituted in the wake of 911 terror attacks that were that happened in usa okay so this counter terrorism committee it comprises the 15 members of unsc that is five permanent member and 10 non permanent members recently india hosted and india specifically put forward that how terror financing can be reduced can be curtailed today guys cryptocurrency has become a very big nuisance by cryptocurrencies terrorists are receiving the fundings then there are there are the technologies of dual use for example drones today drones are being used by these terrorists fine for drug delivery okay for drug peddling okay many number of times the targeted attacks are being carried by these drones by the terrorists so how these dual use technologies can be reduced fine how they are used how the terrorists how we need to take the steps that terrorists don't use them and how the funding is to be reduced these two themes were taken up then apart from that india also convened no money for terror conference in united nations security council now this no money for terror conference was started in 2018 and was the initiative of france where france uh, proposed that we need to find such initiatives so that the basic root the financing of the terrorist can be curbed now this particular uh, meet was held in delhi recently under the aegis of india and india has provided that we need to come together we need to create a unique platform so that all the participating nations can deliberate that how the terror financing can be curbed okay now many new ways of terror financing they have discovered particularly through cryptocurrencies fine so we need to identify such means and need to curb it now guys as we talk about india at unsc some basic information so india was elected for a two year term starting from 2021 so 2021 to 2022 entire year of 21 22 india was a non permanent member now this is not the first time important point for prelims earlier also before that also seven times india got selected at the non permanent position in united nations security council and during this time india chaired some very important committees counter terrorism committee taliban sanction committee 
Libya Sanction Committee and India also proposed the names of certain terrorists that they should be placed in 1267 committee. Now, as we talk about guys the terror financing, there is also one more initiative of terror financing which is very important that is Financial Action Task Force. So, Financial Action Task Force was created in 1989 out of the G7 uh, countries initiative to curtail money laundering and terror financing. Okay. It also aims to curb the financing for proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. Pakistan, guys, why I am discussing it? Because recently Pakistan has been removed from grey list. So, grey list, these are the countries which are considered as a safe haven for supporting terror funding. They don't give complete information to G7. They have, sorry, they don't give complete information to FATF that whether they are complying all the steps to reduce terror financing. So, it is a warning list that if you don't mend your way, then you will be added to blacklist. Now, blacklist contains non-cooperative countries which don't give any support, any information, which don't give any support, they don't give any information to curtail the terror financing. So, recently what had happened, in Pakistan's name was in grey list, fine, it has been removed right now. So, this therefore, the FATF was also into the news and FATF also happens to be a credible mechanism to restrict the terror financing. So, guys, all these are the initiatives and issues associated with this particular dimension. And with this, we come to an end to this particular topic. So, that is all, guys, for today. If you have liked the video, please do hit the subscribe button and please do comment. Thank you so much.